If you are planning to take the FE exam or you have already taken it and did not pass, there is literally one thing that you need to know before you even take the exam. So I'll share that with you now. The creators of this test created a study guide for you. So just like any other test that you would take, the professor is gonna give you that exam and they normally give you a study guide with a list of things that you need to study so that you can in fact pass the test. So the creators of this test did the exact same thing. All you have to do is go to the NCEES website, go to the FE reference handbook and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I'm talking specifically to the FE civil students because that's the test that I took. But if you took a different test, it's the same concept. Scroll all the way down, go to the section that says FE civil section, and they list out all of the topics that will be covered on the exams. They literally give you the number of questions that are going to be on the exam, and they say what you need to study. So this is very, very key because if you study the wrong material, you are going to be pissed when you get on the exam and you feel like you don't know what the heck is going on. Now, they do give a level of hardness per question. So some questions are just going to be easy. Some are going to be medium level questions and some are going to be really hard. And typically, you kind of want to skip those hard questions unless you just or a genius. You want to get those easy and medium questions so that you have a higher chance of passing. Very, very important to look over those topics and make sure you master the concepts. And I didn't do this when I took the exam. And the first time that I took it failed because I didn't do that. Second time I took it, didn't look at that study guide. And the third time I took it, it was very easy because I mastered those concepts. Now, if you want to master those concepts and you need some practice time or some, some time to practice these different concepts, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I do literal practice problems on every single topic that is covered on the FE exam for the civil section. So if you are civil, if you're a civil engineer, looking to be a civil engineer and you want some time to practice go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also if you have questions just leave them in the comment section down below that is all i have for you all today hopefully this information was helpful for you all and i will see y'all in the next video peace